Okay, let's prepare pocket machining. Select the tool. Select flat 12 millimeters. Okay, and now select pocketing. Vertical and selected, okay. In general, tab leaf defaults parameters and in levels and cuts tab, safe rapid level 25 millimeters, wrap it down to 5 millimeters. Material top 0 and final depth minus 5. Okay, I'll click OK and select the pocket geometries. And accept the selection. And let's run this solid simulation. And we see that raw material remained in the corners of the pockets. Why did this happen? Because pocket machining involves the tool machining within the specified boundary. No part of it will go beyond the border. But in this case it could come out because there is no material there. We can set these geometries as open pocket geometries and we can indicate which edges are open edges and where the tool can extend beyond the machining limit. And to do this, select option set and set open elements. And now we must indicate the first element that will be beginning of an open pocket. Geometry direction arrow will be useful here. And as the first element set this edge and as the last element set this edge and now the open edges are marked with a different color and now let's set open edge here and this is the first element and also last element and here first element last element first last first element last element first element last element okay this option also works the other way open packets can be replaced with closed ones for example click here and here and now we have closed geometry again okay i set this as open edges and okay let's cancel this command and go to the operation tab and update the toolpath okay and let's run solid simulation again and now it looks good